In a previous video, we created vendors and set up their electronic parts ordering. If you have not done so, it is recommended that you view that video before you proceed. In this video, we'll see how to set up all of the different options for pricing parts and setting up our vendor-specific price matrix. We'll start by going to Setup, then User Options, and Pricing. On this page, we'll need to determine how the parts are marked up when they are applied to an estimate or repair order. There are several things to consider when completing this page. First of all, check this box if you want to apply markups to any parts purchased from online catalogs. Not checking this box will apply the list price of parts from the electronic catalog. If this box is checked, a markup will be applied to manually entered parts that you associate with a vendor if that vendor has a price matrix associated with it, or you have entered a default markup. You can create a price matrix for any vendor you have entered into your database. Quick Parts and Fluids are items that you use on a regular basis. When you add them to your inventory list, you can designate them as such. This puts them in an easy-to-access list. These are usually commodity type parts such as hose clamps, spark plugs or filters, and fluids such as oil, brake and transmission fluid. If you do not want to apply a markup to these parts automatically, leave this unchecked. The default markup is what will be applied to all parts sold that are not covered by a price matrix. The vendor specific price matrix in Manage Online allows you to set a range of markups for parts from different vendors. So let's look at our price matrix setup. Remember, the following numbers are just an example, and the choices you make here should be appropriate for your business needs. We'll first select a vendor for whom we want to create the pricing matrix. We enter the minimum value in our range, our maximum value in the range, select either a dollar or a percentage markup, enter the markup amount, and click Add. Repeat this process to create a complete part pricing matrix. We'll add one more range to this matrix. So, what we have set up is if a part costs us in a range from a penny to $10, we'll mark it up by 250%. Any part costing us $10.01 to $50 will mark up by 200%. This area allows you to set a desired profit margin for parts, labor, and a total margin for a repair order. If you have a number entered, Manage Online will warn you if you are below the desired profit margin. As stated before, these are just example numbers but there are plenty of resources elsewhere on the internet to help you decide what numbers are right for your business. Defining a default markup, minimum margin alerts, and price matrices will help you maintain consistency in your pricing and help ensure that each invoice is profitable for your business. This paragraph explains this feature pretty well. This allows you to put a check in place if an estimate or a repair order is about to be invoiced and it does not meet your minimum standards for a profitable job. To enable this feature, simply checkmark this box and enter the password. Your password will remain visible after you click Update, so be sure to read the support article that covers access control, which allows you to create a password to make changes to this and other pages. This final section allows the program to automatically update prices in your inventory and on repair orders and estimates if the price has changed between the time it is added to the document and it is actually ordered. Checkmark which prices you want to be automatically updated. Now, we'll click Update to save all of the changes we've made on this page. 